Hello and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of long-time friends and nerdy-ass Tumblr users transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons & Dragons and critically fumble a lot. Uh, last week, uh, as you may have noticed, our schedule has changed ever so slightly. Um, last week, they set off across the uh, the, the Alamavere Wastes to uh, go poking around at a temple and deal with an umber hulk they ran into something ever so slightly worse on the way uh they called it a burrowing maw in actuality it is a miniature sarlacc they did manage to kill it with the help from their uh, their current companion um but are now sort of spending the evening uh, effectively chilling out from that particular encounter because there were unconsciousnesses and people got kind of eaten and it was a bit of a mess. In any case, um, I don't remember who was on last watch. I think oh, last watch or first La watch. Last watch. Last watch. Oh, that was. Uh, I know that was Froseth and I believe Hazel. If I recall correctly. It was either that or Nye because they needed the most sleep. But not entirely sure. Or I was... remember thinking something like telling everyone just give me four hours to trance and I'll be up the rest of the night. But I don't remember if I actually said that. You did not <laughs> no, say I'm, that. No, you didn't. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was Hazel and Froseth because morning rituals. Who are, ah, yes. Yeah, who are getting Sorry. last and, watch because of the day thing. And, and see previous Nye would have been awake too. Yes. Okay. So these guys, uh, when when Remy um, and uh, and Darwin sort of uh, wake up, and Alice is already up. She's up with the sun as well. Not quite to the same extent as Hazel, but uh, you know, she she she's got her general sun That's up cool. sun up prayers and. Um. And I know that uh, on when it was Alice's and Darwin's watch, um, I would there were there was going to be yeah, um, and that was had that was yes. it just basically it was the idea was going over everything from beginning to now. I'm not sure how well it was worded because it was sort of like well, I usually do better describing it in song, but I'll, everybody's asleep and I don't want to keep anybody awake, so I'll give it my best shot, and it kind of went from there. I, um, I, I can, I can, that. I can hear it. I can hear it in Darwin speak, and Alice didn't say anything, because that that would have that would have taken their entire watch, and it really yeah. was mm -hmm. just uh, you know, pokes the next person awake, and then just in bed roll. Not a hundred percent sure how much sleep she got after that. <laughs> yes, when 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 she pokes Darwin awake, the her exact words are. Your bedtime stories suck ass. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you tell when the sun is up, jackass. I've been called worse. Not so early in the morning, though. There's the movement of the hands that's like, my hands, they, these hands, they thirst for necks. <laughs> <laughs> I just sort of do one of the, do it like a turtle. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to go get some coffee and wake up. <laughs> Let's yeah. not piss off the one that saved your life. Yeah, Al Alice is the one you guys sent to actually get the food supply. So she has the coffee. Yeah. Yeah, and and the the line about let's not piss off the one that saved your life is out loud. <laughs> I I I have I have regular tests for the stupid. It's it's kind of you you vacillate. <laughs> I'll endeavor to to do better. At which point she puts the coffee on. Flitty's apparently been sort of living in the food bag. <laughs> So, 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 sort of, sort of comes out and goes. It was really noisy. She was yelling a lot. Why was there yelling? I was asleep. I don't know. 
No, no, yesterday. Because it was in there when the fight happened. Oh. Is this in Draconic or Sylvan? Uh, probably Draconic because it's Froseth that Flitty asks these things because Froseth is the one that makes the sense. <laughs> Which is why Jarvan oh. is usually going, why am I a leader? What the hell? Should be frustrated. <laughs> He's the one with brains. <laughs> so you're the one who talks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just... <laughs> so you've got little, little blue head poking out of the bag. Going, it was really noisy. There was a lot of yelling. Why was there a, why was there a lot of yelling? Uh, something tried to eat us. Oh. And succeeded in a few cases. <laughs> I finally got the taste of acid out of my mouth. None of you seem very tasty. <laughs> you kind of have to peel the paladin lady out of the shell first. <laughs> Not necessarily. Acid can... No, this see. is still draconic. Dig, dig that thin candy shell. <laughs> that was in common. <laughs> so that's all you hear from me. Anyway, I'm sorry you nearly got it. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. That's why I stayed in here. But I'm probably going to have to come out when you go do the proper hunty stuff. Because obviously when I'm not with you, you will get in all kinds of trouble. And, that, and if I let you get in trouble, it means I'm not doing my job. <laughs> we try not to, but you take good care of us. I treat my pets right. And then back into the back. <laughs> and Darwin's just like, that is adorable. I love Flitty. I want to know how he got in there! Uh, it's Flitty. That's what Flitty does. But he is, as long as Flitty is safe, none of us particularly care. We started stopped asking questions as to how Flitty gets into the bags. Doesn't really matter. As long as Flitty's safe, that's all we care about. Among other things, obviously, but you get the point. Peers into the bag. I always thought that, like, being an adventurer type would be not conducive to small animal companions. Apparently, I was mistaken! Thanks to that little. Thanks to that little fella. We um we survived a fight we may not have because he spat something in the thing's face and it was just staring at the middle distance for the next minute while we just wailed on it. Yeah, him. this one mentioned something about that last night. <laughs> yeah. That was No, that that wasn't the uh they're talking about the shade. Oh right. I forgot. I always get I got that confused. My bad. Okay. We've saved Flitty on multiple occasions, and Flitty saved us on multiple occasions. Though I think it's more weighted on in Flitty's favor than ours right now. But we're working on it. Okay. Also, you're gonna have to ration out the coffee because it dries you out. But what we what we lack in volume of liquid, we make up for in strength of actual caffeine. So she hands out little espresso size mugs, and you can smell the the actual. Whoop! It's like constitution that's... save if you're just. Yeah. Uh, nope. Okay. Where's the button? Where's the I button? Just... 
I smelled it, and my eyes went. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the face you saw, just a sniff. <laughs> I'm gonna sip this, just in time to see Hazel down hers, and I'm like, oh, this is not gonna end well. Sip. Yeah, even just the yeah, sip oh, is. Save. There it is. Uh, Hazel's having a little. It, it's kind, kind of, kind of like, kind of like clicking the boots, except in her brain. <laughs> nice, fine. Somehow. It's like if it were, if it were, wow. <laughs> it's like if it were a thing, and I like, can see through time expression. It's like if it were a thing, Hazel would be would be reciting all of the lyrics to "I am the I am the very model of a modern major general," <laughs> but in like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I hear that either in periodic table or scientist Solarian modes. And I am now current, and I am now belting out exultations to Paylor at seventy-eight RPM. <laughs> Oh God! Okay. Sorry, did I break some kind of rule about don't let the half elf have coffee? Oh no, just don't let the half elf have that potent of 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 at once. She'll be all right. Just let her motor it out. She'll have a good outlet for the energy. Yeah, except if she's that jittery and speedy in a place where we probably want to watch where we step. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, which reminds me. Actually, I'm just going to clear current chat log to tidy things up a bit. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, uh, out of character, if I recall correctly, I did roll high enough to know a bit of what we were dealing with, including the fact that it could cause, uh, that overhost can cast confusion? Or cause confusion? I think so, yes. I believe it was, yeah, it was high enough I, for that. Okay. To, to, be, to be fair, I also think that Clarity rolled really high and told you all anyway. Right. Um, when we finally find this thing and we go up against it, um, you know, some of us have dealt with being confused <laughs> before. Um... We probably want to spread out as much as we can. Good idea, good plan, very good plan. Yes, 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 yes. Remy doesn't have to worry about it. Remy has counter charm. You guys forgot your tattoos entirely. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I very much did. <laughs> and that's when it, right about when it hits me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's this. this, this. We forgot to stop at the place with the tattoos. No, they they have theirs. It's just that you've got the one coupon left over. It's not like you can't go back. Mm-hmm. We forgot. Um, we forgot. Why did we forget? She's never gotten. Nothing, Hazel. But um, yeah. I have ideas. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing Arcane Ink. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You! Takes out that flask, pours like half a thimble full, shoves it at Hazel. Drink it! Drinking. <laughs> Equilibrium happens. <laughs> uh. I. I, was I seeing the future? <sighs> okay, gonna pause us for a minute. Ben, if you're really not feeling that well, do you want to call it for tonight? No, I'm good. It's I'm watching you suffer. Yes, but I'd be suffering anyway. At least at this point, I'm suffering and having fun. <laughs> <coughs> Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, yeah, we probably want to, you know, spread out a, a wee bit just so that way, if any of us do get whammied, 
hopefully we don't start swinging on the person next to us. Um, yeah, or or on ourselves though, because I remember that. Well, you, we're not gonna. No, that, that, um, hun, hun, hun. Hmm? That will, if if you hit yourself in the middle of a confusion spell, that's because you missed. Wait, this has happened to you guys before? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Well, I told I told Alice say that I was that was the bunny incident. Oh. Yeah. It was during that. It was, it was part of that. It was all one giant conglomeration of ah no. This looks at Remy. Were you here for that one? No, no, uh not that not at that point, no. I uh, was but... actually in the camp at the time, so I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ah, uh, so let's see. Sensible person, sensible person were not there. No. That explains so much. Yeah, that was that was the that was the bunny incident. I told you about that. That was when Hazel got me turned into turned into a bunny by the pixies by blaming me for their misspeaking. Still haven't figured out how 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 to hold a rapier with a paw, but I'm working on that. takes Starfin by the shoulders and shakes repeatedly. I am putting basically my future in your hands. I do not want them to be a paw, so will you please stop acting like an idiot? Okay? She's literally shaking you at this point. Yeah, and I'm just like not, I'm blink, blink, okay. Pump. Okay. And we've lost Ben. No. We have lost Ben. We've lost. He'll be back momentarily. It's... Check chat. Antheus. Yeah, sorry. Antheus. And why does my phone keep buzzing? <laughs> one of the other quiet, the other quiet yeah. gentlemen. Well, one of the other quiet gentlemen, because yeah. we have three quiet boys and you two. There What's we go. The, well, out of character, that's because every time I open my mouth, I get in trouble. <laughs> it's Not never as as stopped do. them. <laughs> Not as much as I do. Yeah, I mean, you know, right now, Nia is thinking about pointing out to Alice. Say, on the plus side, they're still alive, which means they didn't do it too badly. But he's not even going to engage with her at this point. On the other hand, I'll for Alice, maybe good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Keep her directed at the monster. To be to be fair, uh, uh, it's. It's only myself that I put in danger mostly. It's everybody else, not so much. <laughs> well, look at it this way. Um, I've had things try to chuck that at me a couple of times. Um, it never really caught. I get the impression that, among other things, I might be halfway decent at that because of... And points points back at her shoulders where where the wings would mm -hmm. be. I don't know. Okay. Well, but we'll, we'll I suppose deal with possible. it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll deal with it when it comes. But I, I just wanted to flag that up as you know, we might not want to all bum rush it all in one go. Uh, sorry, but you got ranged. Points at Nye. You got ranged. Points at Hazel. You got ranged. The rest of us ain't got much choice. Well, actually, we'll be fine. <laughs> well, um, the other thought I had as well um, was, can it do that all the way around? Like, if somebody's got his attention up front, can we get around behind it and avoid it? I have Worth no idea, shot. but I'm not taking any chances. Besides, some, some of us are going to have... I mean, I don't know if it can turn its head 180 degrees, because some things can. Mm. Oh, yeah. Beyond that, a... beyond that, this is, this is territory that we're just going to have to cope with when... Mm -hmm. I, with me, it's fairly simple. I go in and I hit it. That is what I do. That is more or less all that I do. Now, what angle I hit it from depends on where I've got space. Hmm. 
I was just trying to be trying to uh, approach things a slight bit more tactically and hopefully not quite so haphazard as we've been up to this point. No, I, I, I get you. The issue is that now what you're not doing is taking you're taking into account how you want it to work without taking into account what everybody can do, what their specialties are. First mm. over here is melee specialist. He's got to be able to get in, and he's got to be able to move around because he's mostly using his fists and relatively small weapons. And mm. there's points at which he's going to want to hit if he can reach them. So he's got to be up in the fray, but mobile. Whereas mm -hmm. Remy over here, also a melee specialist, but on top of whatever the, the things, uh, uh, you know, Tritherian has gifted to her she is more or less in one place she is the one who is controlling the battlefield more or less me I'm kind of in the same spot as Froseth but I don't need to be as mobile I'm probably going to get a lot of attention just because holds up the axe <laughs> and if the wings have to come out, then that's really going to attract some attention. But you're you're saying how you want it to work without thinking about how it's going to work with what you guys can do. I mean, you I've noticed, you've got your spells and your spells work, but they're openers. And towards the end, you wind up having to fall back on the rapier. So what you're looking at is a lot of people who, while you're saying spread out, keep distant, do your ranged, will fall back onto melee a lot. But you're saying don't get all bunched up. You're setting yourself up for disappointment here. You gotta start considering not just how it should work, but what you guys can do what you're good at you're muted gotcha and i'm not saying it's bad to plan don't don't think that hmm. for a minute it's you're thinking about ideals without thinking about what's in front of you yeah So, I mean, there's six of you, there's six of us, and there's one of it. Hmm. We get in there, and we hit it, and we call that a practice run. So you can really keep an eye out and see what everybody can do. Of course, you're going to have to take me out of the equation, because... Eventually. Yeah. But you look at what people can do. Talk to people more about what they can do that hasn't had a chance to come out yet. Mm -hmm. And then if you're, if you're going to be the one doing the planning, dude, you actually got to do the planning based on all available skill sets, not this is how I want it to work without mm. thinking maybe it can't work that way. Not because you're bad at it, but because that's what your, your skill set lend yourself to a different strength. Anyway, I'm not too worried about the confusion bit. Uh, Remy's got that funky ass tattoo. That was in character. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> yeah, don't you have that? Your you you have you have a funky ass tattoo as well. What does that do? Uh that's a good question. I don't remember the exact wording. <laughs> It was an aura of life, wasn't it? Yes. That's right. Let's see if I wrote that down. Or where I wrote it down on my sheet. I've got it here somewhere. I just got to remember where in the sheet I put it. Oh, uh, where did that go? No. Uh, 
Oh, I. Hmm. I am looking it up. Yeah, I didn't actually put that in on my sheet, or at least not where I thought I did. So if I did put it, I can't find it. But it's uh, it can it does uh, aura of life. That's what I'll just I'll say, and I'll just open in the book to that, so I have it handy later if I need it. That's the one where people can't die around you, right? Mm-hmm. You had that yesterday. There it is. How many uses does that one have? You paid for Oops. permanent. I did. Pay, uh, but I don't remember how many per day. I think it was just one per day. Yeah. Uh, mm. But I, I, I assumed that you didn't use it yesterday because you were... It was only like a one or three use thing and you were saving it for something. Well, what the fuck were you thinking? Sorry, I, I know battle gets a little hectic, but... No, that was, that's fair. I, I panicked on that. I panicked. You guys really got to keep better track of what, what advantages you've got. They're not all going to be uh, pretty blondes with great asses, so you can't ignore them. <laughs> Good point there. <laughs> yeah, well illustrated. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you guys want to finish off breakfast and mm -hmm. get a move on, we're about 20 minutes from temple entrance. Oh, boy. You guys brought torches, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Good. It's going to be dark in there. There's probably a few braziers that we can light, because, you know, junior archaeologists and all that. At least in the main areas, hmm. if we're looking for for a nice pendant thing, we're gonna probably gonna be going into areas that the junior archaeologists haven't been in. Right, hmm. Area, areas yeah. not quite clean, as it were. Yeah, which means they're gonna be pretty well hidden. So, ah, uh, that, that 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 a whole a whole different uh, workout for my. My 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 bits of kit. Mostly, I'm going to be using the uh, the archaeologist setup in a whole different training manner. Because one of you has got to learn how to do this yourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I was going to ask actually if I could watch. Uh, more than watch, I'm I'm going to have you uh, practice on some of the uh, already disabled ones. I would love to. Okay. Packs up her kit, peers in it, flitty. You okay in there? You have cookies. This is awesome. I'm assuming the peeping's a yes. Flitty said, you have cookies. This is awesome. That's Flitty. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Reaches into uh -huh. bags. Scritch, 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 scritch. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Yeah, my computer. To to steal someone's phrase earlier is being a butt. Fortunately, not the computer that's actually on Discord. The other one. Uh. Okay. So. Things suitably mm -hmm. packed up. It's. Not a very long walk, um, and the sun hasn't really heated up too badly yet, so you, so it's it's not terribly uncomfortable. Um, you come across a slightly crumbling temple that's not, it's not the same kind of sandstone as you would expect from having seen most of the buildings in Alzor High, uh, instead what you're getting is a sort of an off-white marble. Hmm. 
the design of the building isn't like yeah, most of you haven't seen this before for froseth it's not first hand familiar but some of the buildings in that drawing he had of the settlement he used to he he was born in there are similarities in the architecture to someone with a perception of his uh... hmm. Hmm. hmm sorry yours yours was uh, <laughs> points at darwin yours was <laughs> I have no idea, but okay. His was thoughtful. When that one gets thoughtful, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> uh, short version. Similar architecture to where I found out I was born. Uh, where are you? Is it? Oh, this is that thing you were telling me about about the Dragonborn settlement. So, mm -hmm. this is this is kind of dragon. Of course, this is kind of dragon themed. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This one. May I just have a look? Like how so? <laughs> There's. Oh, no one told you exactly what this temple's to, did they? No. Remember I was telling you that there used to be a black dragon who ran this place? Yeah. This dates back to then. Oh. This is this is... a temple to Tiamat? Uh-huh. Uh, well, if we want to list before. Uh, well, come on, junior archaeologists have been carving this place up for a long time now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'd be on the list long before you were. Point. I suppose. <laughs> Although, if 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 they're if they're gunning for you guys specifically, I wonder if she's still got any kind of connection to this place. I'll take the head and bitch. Is she just trash talking a god? Yes. Uh huh. I mean, if anybody could get away with it. <laughs> just try not to die. We're going to avoid that. For sure. I'll try and we'll we'll tr well yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, that's the goal. Well, that's a goal. And with that she leads the way inside. As you do get to the doorway, yeah, there's dragon carving kind of at the top of the door and it 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 it's there's almost a Medusa ish kind of feel to the top of the door frame but there's a lot of damage been done so you can see a couple of dragon heads and that's about it and inside is well very very dark I'm going to pull out a torch and use my elemental stuff to light it Currently, what, what you get is Oop. wide, um, just sort of sandstone-ish, pale marble flooring, and in the glow of the torchlight you can just about see a shattered and dried out what was probably a pew at one point. Hmm. Um, if you go ahead a little bit more, there's uh, actually braziers by a couple of the doors that should give enough light. 
Yeah, I'll yeah, go, go ahead and light those. I'll, I'll go with him and press the digitation, light them up. Okay, so that will be caught. Yeah, actually, Froseth, give me that torch. You're going to need both hands in here, I guess. I'll hand it off. Okay. So, yeah, what you get is your main chamber here. Hmm. Yeah, there's some dried out and broken uh, pews and Ooh. an altar that seems moderately intact, uh, less dust on it than you'd expect for obvious reasons, and on the floor um, five what appear to be some kind of ritual circle. <laughs> Hmm. Just flanking the uh, flanking the altar, you know, black, hmm. green, red, white, blue. There's archways uh, to different rooms, sort of uh, here, mm -hmm. here, and behind the altar there. Mm. I'm going to pop on Eldritch Sight and just kind of look around. See if anything within whatever the range is is glowing at me. What is the range? Um, this is what I was trying to look up earlier with my computer being a butt. Uh, uh, let's see. Detect magic 30 foot? Um, not so much in here. Things yeah. were, but there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of residual, but nothing current. Um, mm. If you approach sort of this this end around about the altar, you can feel that there is something that is magical from around about that direction. There's something to do with magic in that direction, but past the wall, and again in that direction through that archway. Hmm. But that's that's after spending a good couple of minutes taking a slow pass and having to do Eldritch Sight again. But I'm assuming you guys are all staying in the same room. Yeah, I'm just sort of trundling along near nigh and glaring at the various fixtures. Uh, um, while you guys investigate, I'm going to show this one some rudiments. You're going to, you're going to need to buy your own thieves tools when you get back to town. How, how good they are will say how much they cost, but, uh, these mine. No, of course. And while Nye is doing his tour and anyone else if they want to uh, perception or whatever um because i mean you've, you've got people who are good at perception you've got people who can sense evil you've got terrible lots of stuff but while you guys are having your initial poke around um alice shows darwin a couple of the fairly nasty traps that were in various parts of this room, um, you know, explaining some you can't actually disable through, you know, their trigger mechanism. Some you've got to try to find a way to skirt around and, like, look at that one. That one was gonna fire poison darts at you. So what you'd need to do is try to find a way to plug the hole while you get past. Hmm. Um, or plug the hole, hit the mechanism, and that should usually break the whole thing because, of course, it was meant to fire and it didn't, so things will get jammed. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that'll, that'll take a while, so whatever the rest of you guys want to do while you're in that main room. Keeping as far from the altar as I can get away with while doing the scan. And those circles, for that matter. Yeah, they're they're not 
actively magical, but they're, they were powerful enough at one point to still have fading echoes now. Hmm. Anybody else? I'm looking, I'm looking around and still glaring at the fixtures, just Remy trying to look at, trying around. to see if I, if I, it's just looking to notice things, really. So perception. Mm. Well, investigation, I guess. Actually, more to the point, because uh, if you're actively looking at and poking <laughs> through things. Mm-hmm. Remy is just keeping watch. That is a nat <laughs> one. It must, Too busy glaring. It must die. It must That's die. That's a twenty. It must die. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> from, 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 from Hazel. Um, it must die. It must die. It must die. Is basically all you're hearing out of her. Um, <laughs> there's honestly not that much in this room, but from what I can tell. The rituals that were observed here, they were making offerings to, well, clearly they were making offerings to Tiamat in the abstract, but they were making physical offerings to something. There, I mean, he's, he can, he can see, um, claw marks on the floor round about there circling around through those so something was getting fed oh boy <sighs> Hazel you got a consistent theme going there I'm trying to concentrate And I saying anything about this? Because he's the only one who spots it. Although occasionally Hazel is he's, 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 he's looking at the, at the floor and Hazel is walking past him, snarling. Probably at this point, Elvin curses because Sylvan's just not satisfying enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure you can do that with a tree. <laughs> 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 So, um, it almost looks like they strapped people to this thing, and then something came in and, um, ate them. Of course it did. <laughs> Leave the butterflies out of this! <laughs> Leave the butterflies out of this! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> But you, what you don't see are any particular signs of an Umber Hulk. From what you've heard, they wouldn't leave claw marks like that. And since they're burrowers, it's probably undisturbed. Which means, given that role, that there's another level to this place. At least one. And of course, you did sense magic from. Basically, everywhere else but here. <laughs> yeah, but in in little in little spots, not. And like I said, there was one at the back there. One in there. And one you could just barely make out, around about that area. And I'll, um, if there's an opportune moment, I'll take a second to glance around just to see what p other people are doing while I'm trying to pay attention to what Alice is showing me, uh, just to make certain, Alice, just to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as you can tell, everybody is okay. And by the time you're done, you've still got Hazel, Hazel swearing in Elvin. Which Nye, I can understand. Yep, Nye, Nye being peanut gallery um, about it <laughs> while he's very clearly 
investigating things and mm. has explained about the sacrifices. Anything else, you know? Little bits of magic, not in this room, but basically oh. through every exit and looks at the floor investigatingly. I think the floor is too thick to see anything down there, but I'm pretty sure there is a down there. Oh. Well, yeah, I know I know there I know there's a second level, but um and yeah, given given the floor and the fact that that's more an underground tunnel network than anything else. Um mm. I mean we we look around and we see what's in the other rooms. Um yeah, we probably want to make yeah. certain. We probably want to make sure this entire floor is clear before we move on any any other levels, especially That's if there fair. are tunnels involved, because we're dealing with something that burrows. So, joy. Right. Left, right, or center? Uh, well, given the size of the building from the outside, um, center is actually smallest. So we get that out of the way. Okay. Yeah, it's just... over here. It's a good start. Yeah, yeah. When in doubt, split the middle, I guess. Yep. And I'm poking at the doorway with the spear. Nothing. Mm. Is that why you got that thing? And I'm just smacking it. <laughs> Grabs Hazel by the back of the displacer beast. No. You take it seriously when you're in the field like this. No poking, mm. no tickling, no hugging, until you know your zone is clear. Thank you. I'm not uh, losing two parties. No. Marching order. Um, who, should, who wants to go first? I go first. Uh, that's what I thought. Remy always uh, goes first. Yeah. Yes, but it's polite to get, at least give Remy a chance to say one way or the other. I should be right behind with the torch. Yes, he should. Okay, okay. Um, Alice, you want to follow uh, up? Yeah, I'll, I'll follow up from there. By that point, like I say, it's not a very big room through there, if the outside's any indication. So hmm. if by the time all three of us are in there and nothing's trying to eat us, we're going to be fine. Believe yeah, well, don't I just, block the door. Don't block the doorway behind us. Just yeah. No, case. I'm just speaking in terms of everybody in general as we're exploring. Uh, so then I think, guess uh, what? Hazel after Alice, then me after Hazel, and then I guess Roseth as usual, just in case something comes up from behind. No, no. no? You got to you got to split your uh, you got to split the people who can heal more evenly than that. Oh, okay. Remy, Nye, mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, Hazel, first with bringing up the rear. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of a toss-up as to where me and Hazel were going to be. Because that way you've got lay on hands. If that's not, you know, if 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 it's if it's her that goes down first, mm. then I can at least get her conscious. And the person mm. who's got healing capable and a crossbow <laughs> is at the rear. Not Good entirely point. at the rear, because then she got somebody who can fight melee at her back. Mm -hmm. But exactly, you're spreading out your heal capability. Mm. Point, point. Good point. Yeah, no, I was, I was not 100% sold on where Hazel and I should be in that mix. So thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Good, good yeah, point. You, you guys, you guys are new. I can, I can kind of tell, but Ish. Mo most, most of my training actually comes from a place of we need to survive. Mm -hmm. So, most of my thoughts on that come from that. Fair enough. No, well, that's you raise a good point, and yeah, no, by all means, I am, I am happy to to consider new information. So, that's okay. what we'll that's what we'll do. So, Remy, if you if you and I want to take the lead, yes. Yeah, as as Nye, um comes in with uh, with Remy and the torch, uh, most of that area is lit up and what oh, you're hey, seeing look. is a dismantled and much poked at cage um, with a set of 
a very large collar on a chain, and that's where the magic is coming from. A very large skull that could really only be dragon, although probably quite young dragon. And a pile of l very old bones in a corner. Hmm. <laughs> Trying not to stare, looking around instead, and clearing the doorway. Yeah, there's another door through um, that sort of direction. There doesn't seem to be much actually in it. Hmm. The fuck? Man, Team Matt Worshippers are messed up. Uh huh. Yeah, they were it's keeping something surprising. back here. Yeah, no, that's that's Dutch dragon. Probably much older dragonling or a young hmm. dragon. Man, I it must have what... been pissed. Hmm. Is this where the magic was from, Nye? That chain and collar, yeah. Oh, given you actually need that kind of thing to keep a dragon down. I wonder if this would fit on a number Hulk. <laughs> oh, boy. Probably not. If it's some sort of restraint system. Mm. You really want to lug that amount of chain around? No, we don't. Yeah, that's just that was thinking my outside thought. the cage. Uh. And you know, I I actually used to think adventurers were professionals. <sighs> I actually used to think this. I don't know why I used to think this, but I used to think this. Uh, anyway. <sighs> Well, uh, at least we know this spot's clear. Uh, now, are you getting anything from? Well, uh, oh, um, let me look. I'll look through that archway, assuming that some of the lights being able to go through. Yeah, some of the lights being in there. Given that you're human, your dark vision isn't very much. All you're seeing is sort of a shape in that general uh, direction. I can't make out anything over in this direction. Al no, Al do you want to? Alice Ape sort mm -hmm. of peers in and goes. Looks like a water trough. Oh. Okay. Oh, so that you think that chain probably reached far enough to get over here? Just. Hmm. It's probably just more of its area then. Okay. Do we want to check this little little spot out just to be on the safe side? Which yeah, might one? as well. Torch oh. coming over. Yeah, over. Okay. Just to bring the light over enough to just fill the area in so we know for certain what we're looking at. Yeah, all you're really seeing is, um, you know, again, that water trough. And as you uh, go a little further down, it's an archway that probably leads into that, into the one that that next mm -hmm. one did. They don't connect to that, you know, to, to this side, where Nye... Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, because I'm on, I'm on reveal, so... It didn't seem to connect to that side, but that one does. So, hmm. so that's probably... Let's go ahead. Uh, so we have a center point to work from, rather than continuing on in this direction, since it looks like things are going to connect. Let's go back to the center room and start from loop there. Around to, loop back around to the main room, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just le use that as our as our base of operations, as it were. Because we absolutely know that's clear. And then we'll try, since we didn't see a way to get to the right side from that room, or the... East side? Yes, thank you. I was orienting. East side. We'll, we'll check the east side and see what's in that direction. Uh, and then come back and try this side. What do you think? Or do we want to continue? No, I think, I, think, I think we clear the bit that's not connected because if there had mm -hmm. been something in that room would have jumped out at us by now exactly that was my my train of thought as well <laughs> okay so so you're heading turn back. around and head back so yeah you're heading back mm -hmm. here yep 
poking through that area. So Rem Remy and I, and same marching order from yep. here on out. Yep. I, 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 yep. How many of these torches do we have? We each have at least a couple. I have five more. Yeah, right. and I. And they I've they got they, it. they lost for a while. Okay, what yeah. you're what you're basically seeing in this next room is uh, you know, once once you poke around in and light the braziers that you find in the corners, all you're really getting is a. Actually, trying to keep as much within the uh, mm -hmm. what you'd see in as possible. Mostly, what you're getting is a tr straight up triangular room with two arches, one on either side. If Nye is doing Eldritch Sight again, in this area is where the magic's coming from, and it's getting stronger. Magic left. Oh, so north then. Okay. Yeah, in reference to the way we came in. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> You've got props. It's great. <laughs> the, the amount of random stuff scattered over my desk is impressive sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and I guess... Uh, I have too few things. Pretty much all these tools. <laughs> nice. I actually have just a random set of flyers sitting at my desk. <laughs> I have no idea why. Um, okay, so then we, I guess we want to check the north side first. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, that's where magic is, so we want to make certain that it's nothing going to do anything to us. So let's go ahead, yeah. Remy. Yeah, we uh, follow the magic. Yep. Yeah, the only person who can see what I'm about to reveal next is Nye, and only to a point. The rest of you see straight up floor. Nai sees what appears to be stairs. Huh, stairs. What? What do you mean stairs? Where? What? Where? What stairs? Right in front of me, right in front of the door. Uh, They're an illusion. That's floor. Well, let me borrow that spear a second. Doesn't Darwin have detect magic as a spell? I Let me double check, because I think I did, but I don't think I do now. Uh, let me see if I still do spells. Oh, yes, I do. Um, yeah, it was something else you swapped out. Right. I don't remember what, but yeah. Probably invisib was it invisibility? I think it was invisibility because I never used it. Um, wait. How are, you seeing, how are you seeing the stairs? Flipping the spear around so the handle's first and holding it out to nine. Wait, not... Now, how are you see how are you seeing the stairs? Like what are you what are you doing? Well, I'm looking around for magic as I've been since we came in and then I just okay, I look okay. down and here they are. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Holding and on and not poking anything yet. Yeah. And I'm going to tap, you know, tap a little on my drum and do detect magic. Well, yeah, there is there is most definitely magic on that section of floor. And given that you've now more or less entirely proven that there is something there, um, I believe, wasn't it something like, I think it was an int check to be able to see through. So yeah, there is, there is magic. Uh, what I, what I, detect magic would tell me it was an illusion spell, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, the, the, the school of it. I can put the card up too if need be. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, and you learn this. It's school of magic, if any. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it's definitely okay. an illusion. Yeah, there is. There is an illusion ah, okay. spell. Okay. No, sorry. Investigation check. There's a. There's an illusion spell here. So yes, there are stairs being hidden by an illusion spell. That's what. That's what Nia sees. So how can I see it if I'm just looking for magic? Uh, I'm, I am, I am headcanoning that yours is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Also, there is the passingly curious fact that your your queen wants you there. So if she's the one who's giving the powers to you, yep, yep. you're gonna see what she wants you to. 
So yeah, there's it's an illusion spell. There is an illusion spell on the floor. Uh, there are stairs, but that begs the question. We've apparently found a way downstairs, but we want to clear this entire floor first. Yeah, we want to make sure there's nothing yes, up do. here when we come back up. Exactly. So we know where this is. We know it's an illusion spell. We know there are stairs here. We'll deal with that. I mean, if you want to look around a little bit in here and try to see through it, sure. You, but you've got you've got Alice I sort of looks at it for a minute and then just sort of hop. And for a second, it looks like she sinks about six inches into the floor, and then she's standing on stairs. Because she saw through the illusion with a successful investigation check, and then broke it by just proving it was there. Better yeah. now? I'm gonna uh, go, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna light the braziers, That's either with the torch or with the prestidigitation. Oh, the, oh, yeah, in the room, yeah. 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 And I'm gonna wonder... Alice, say you said people come in here all the time. Hmm? What do you think are the odds that they saw through this? Apparently, not very good. Yeah, because if they'd see, if they'd seen through it, it wouldn't be here, right, Alice? Say? And besides, well, those those, bra those braziers you just lit have never been lit. Somebody walked through here with a torch, assumed that it was just another empty room. Right. Ch I mean, they checked the walls; is pretty clear. But, but they didn't fall down the stairs. Okay. No. Something no. didn't want them to. Maybe so, I don't know. Yeah. Well, why we haven't we have in fact found. And it, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? Just wondering if whatever if if that's going to be in the same condition as the rest of this place that is picked over. Mm -mm. Or if we are boldly going where no one's gone before. <laughs> nice. Does it matter? Well, we have to be a bit more careful if nobody's been down there because... The... Well, I'm, thinking yeah. of the, I'm thinking of the nasty traps that used to be in that first room. Well, yeah, obviously, but that's why you brought me. He's not good exactly. enough to disarm them all yet. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Right. To, so, no, we got... to, to disarm traps and kill things. Yep, yep. we've got it covered now. Don't... Relax. We'll, we'll we'll deal with it when we get there. But let's finish clearing this floor first and move on. Alice actually Agreed. pats him on the shoulder. Uh, it does you credit. Mm, but it's a good thought. There's a there's there's a middle ground somewhere between laissez faire and paranoid. <laughs> We're still trying to find that, but yes, no, it's a good thought. Nine. I I no, Re definitely. Not a, not a bad thought. Just, yeah, we, just we do have that covered. <laughs> yeah, just just pa panic, as some of you know, can be just as devastating as carelessness. Yep. Hence why I was being a little overly cautious with confusion. Mm. <sighs> okay, so are you investigating the southernmost room? I was about to suggest let's go ahead and uh, can, and continue to the southern room and then go from there. Yeah, from that, in that room, because now I can, nothing. Okay. Same, same condition as the other room, approximately the same shape, but no, nothing from Eldritch Sight, nothing from Detect Magic. Um, Lighting the braziers just to, mm -hmm. just to yeah. close the circle, and mm -hmm. I wonder if uh, these are storage rooms or what they were for. Alice, say, while I'm thinking about it, that's a question. Have you, since, I mean, you've had experience dealing with traps and whatnot, have you ever heard of anybody trapping a, bra bra a brazier? Be a nasty thing to uh, do. I've heard of it. I've heard of it happening, but if it was going to be, it wouldn't be up here. I don't that think. was my thought. That was I'm, my thought. I'm you, just. It, it, can you let me finish talking? Sorry. <laughs> I know bards talk, but you got to learn to listen. Anyway, point is that while they while they more or less match the architecture, some of these are newer mm. than the architecture inside. You know, that the actual structure of the building, which means they brought them here cuz I mean some of these are in really wonky places. You know, setup wise. Mm. And 
Most of them are floor standing. You don't normally get floor standing like that. And she actually takes one and wobble wobble. Boy. These are these are new. Okay. It was just a thought. No, and and it and it's a good one, but A, maybe you should add it before people were lighting the things. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but so we go it's, back it's, to the... it's, also, it's also a lesson in... Because if you're going to be doing the, 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 the disarming traps and stuff, you also need to learn how to look for them. Mm. And what I'm trying to tell you there, which you're going, yeah, 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 I know. But if you listen, it's something that if you retain... You can look for later to to, to, you know, to how you know what is and isn't a trap. Now, if those still looked as old as the place, but they were freestanding, or there they look, it looked like there might be give in them, then you would probably think, ah, there might be a mechanical trap there. Mm -hmm. See, I'm still trying to teach. My apologies. I, I I understand now. I don't I don't always talk just for the sake of talking. I know that's your job, pats him on the cheek. But mm. so are we regrouping in the main room. Yeah, I was gonna say let's go ahead and regroup in the main room and try that. Try to the west. Clear that out. Assuming it's clear, we move on down the stairs. Uh, and if it's not, well, we deal with it. <laughs> so. yes, there Same is. marching order. Nye is having Nye is having a feeling of distinct impatience at the back of his head. It's not quite verbal, but there is a certain component of what are you doing? Coming into the room to the west, those stairs are actually visible to like people. There's signs huh. of digging. And signs that people have been down the end. Have we lost a Ben? Looks like. Mm -hmm. And that was my internet. Hello from my phone. Hello. Um, yeah, uh, we've we've only got a few minutes before break anyway, so we'll we'll leave mm -hmm. it at I mean what what we'll do is you know, now you guys have explored You've yep. seen one obvious way down where there has been digging and one way down where there has not. And Nye has that feeling of impatience. Right. Well, uh, I say we take the illusion stairs. Because if yeah. there's going to be something to be found, it makes sense that we go down the way nobody else has. Works for me. Find whatever it is. So yeah, the way the way, the way the way I figure it is that how do I put this? Our first the, the the thing we were originally here for was the Umber Hulk. Correct. And the reason they know there's an Umber Hulk is because it's down where people have been. So Which... for for the, so for the Umber Hulk, we're gonna need to go down those. Right. For what Nye's looking for. You're going to need to go down the illusion stairs because that would be where anything that anything that we're looking for has been right. found. And I'm kind of guessing that they probably don't go to the same place. Yeah, that was my thought. That was my thought as well. Um, and, and this is Because if why anyone was, had I... been poking around down there and it connected, mm -hmm. they would have found They would have found the other end. Yeah. Right. So, I mean... If we're going down the area where nobody has been, there may be traps, there may be things, uh, we might probably want to deal with that when we're still a bit fresher. Gotcha. Than the Umber Hulk. Fair enough. So Umber Hulk first then? No, no. I was thinking, no, Illusion Stairs first. I'm saying the other way, what, yeah. What, should, what, yeah. What, what he's saying is that if we're going to be poking around and looking for traps and things... We're probably not going to want to do it when there's a chance that blood is running in our eyes or we're foggy from a concussion or something might have broken our thieves' tools. Gotcha. That's fair. 
<clears throat> so we're going to deal with that. Hope it's a simple grab. Yeah. Deal with it if it's not. And then we can decide whether we're in a shape to fight Number Hulk. Exactly. Thank you. Well, that's what you guys were all kind of saying. You just hadn't put the words together right. <laughs> I do better when I have time ah. to write it. <laughs> That's Putting been the my... words together is pretty important because me and words equals awful. That's why I no. say you close mouth, you let words form into sentences, and then you let them leave your mouth. Been working on it. Yeah, I've been doing too bad. Anyway, yep. we've got marching order. Yep. Let's do the thing. And yeah. given that we are at a roundabout break time... Mm -hmm. We will leave it there, and when we come back, you will uh, b basically descend into the depths of an ancient tomb to team up. Yeah. Unfortunately, while the bard is usually fairly well behaved, the warlock knows exactly how to piss off the DM because he's been doing it longer than most of you combined. Yes, now is a good time to pray. So yes, they've they've explored the top uh, floor of uh, what was apparently a temple to Tiamat. They found, among other things, a set of uh, illusion-hidden stairs that they have now decided to take with uh, declared marching order. And they find themselves in the dark again. Um, those with the torch are mostly getting cavern. There is a sense in front of empty space oh there okay and for a change it's not nigh that's hearing a certain amount of uh illusory laughter this time it's furseth 
<laughs> oh, this is going to be amusing. Hello, Snowflake. Mm. <laughs> and it fades. What? Fro Froseth, what? She sees me. She... Wait. Who? She? She? As in... Yeah, well, we did say that there's probably a connection to this place. Fuck off, you! <laughs> oh, did you just... No! She's watching! At which point, the laughter increases. Oh, this is fantastic! Oh, she's gonna get what's coming to her. <laughs> at first I was looking at Hazel like, ah. Uh. Remy's just that... looking at Nye. Um, um... Nye is looking everywhere at... Nye is basically looking at the darkness. Yeah, he can see a little farther than everyone else, and at the moment, even his range is still... You're not seeing much of anything. Yeah, how's my dark vision allowing anything same, here? Same, same as Nye, really. There, for the moment, there's just more space. I see a whole lot of dark. Anyone else? Yeah, same. Looks like we're going to have to move further in to see what we're looking for or at. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, okay, I know that the, 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 the dragon lady is, like, watching, but do we... Yeah, we really, gotta get a move on. Do we really have a lot of choice at this point? Not really. Let's, for now, let's try to follow the wall. Which direction? Uh, are we going north or are we going west? North. North seems good. Okay, north okay. it is. How, how far are you going to proceed? Uh, assuming that these these are, these are five foot squares, correct? Yep. Uh, we want to go go up, go forward twenty feet or so. If we and if we see anything in the meantime, stop. Okay. What, see... what you see when you continue twenty feet up is old blood, very old blood on the floor. Walk in the sun. The sun burns um, all evil. We walk in the sun, and the sun burns all evil. I'm not going to step on that. Yeah, I'm going to carefully skirt. Yeah, so far, nothing. Alright, well, um, keep going. Keep going north. Is, um, what? No, no, what? The time to ask this was probably before we came in here, but is there anything that we could leave behind, say, as a light source? So we have greater range. Maybe we should have brought some of those braziers down from upstairs. Hmm. Uh, those were a bit unwieldy, <laughs> to put it mildly. Yeah. Uh, let's march okay. on. Yeah. Too late now. Okay. You go up another twenty feet, and what you come across is old bones and the end of the wall. Still repeating the mantra: "Walk in the sun, sun burns all evil." <sighs> well. We now know how far... old bones. Holy sweet. Are these more dragon? Oh. And you get Alice sort of stepping right on in and tracing them along. Yeah, looks like. Jesus. Very old, though. They've been dead a long time. Well, uh, I mean, very old when it died, or or just, I mean, and the bones are obviously very old, but... Um, oh, actually, wait a minute, I mean, and it sort of pries it. No, wait, that's, sorry, I was only looking at ribs. It's about the right size for a young dragon, but no. And it wades through a little bit more and mm -hmm. looks at a fairly large skull. It looks... Humanoid. Uh, okay, uh, I was looking off into the darkness and not really watching her, but now I look over at her and then over at Frosa. Is... is that... I... 
something humanoid and big. Without without soft tissues, you can't really. Well, tell. yeah, no, much more than that. It's not wow. not 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 any fang. So there's no tusk. So it's probably not troll. Whatever it is, I don't know if we should be mucking with it. Yeah, let's leave it be. <laughs> let's leave it be. Uh, oh, there's always. Oh, there's a lot of magic here. It's too much to really. <coughs> What the shit? Oh. I looked for magic. I got some. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's just everywhere. and the mantra's getting longer. <laughs> I'm going into full on prayer at this point. Actually, Al Alice actually reaches forward and claps a hand over Hazel's mouth. Now is the time when Paylor wants you to not be speaking but to be doing. Yeah. Hey. Somebody break uh, another torch. Uh, I feel like uh, spread out. I brought a couple of my own, um, and actually pulls one out of her, uh, out mm -hmm. of her bag, takes, uh, takes a light off Roseth's, and because she is the more durable, heads out into the room a bit more. Oh, hey, look, ritual stones. Hmm. And winds up standing in the middle enough to illuminate. Am I the oh. only one getting flashbacks to Chasm? No. To what now? Oh, Chasm, right. This is this looks like what was happening upstairs. Same yeah, color is... pattern? Uh, yeah, exactly. So, no altar. So, so what's north of them? I guess well, there's only one way of finding out. Yeah, I'm going to follow uh, Alice A. I'm close to, you know, staying close, to, sitting close to her. As you as you move up another twenty feet, you start seeing a point where, and there's more old blood, but you're also, yeah. also starting to see actual flagstone instead of earth. Oh, that looks actually built, or ish. Huh. Uh, Alice steps forward a little bit further, being careful of the floor. Mm-hmm. And you see just this little alcove, carefully huh. built. And for Froseth, he's seen this when he was vision meditating. Just the other day. That's the plinth on which the pendant was to be found. That's where the pendant was when I, uh... Well, you was... want, me, want me to get closer and have a look? I mean... I think I should get closer and have a look. <clears throat> Dude, who can take a harder hit? Yeah, and who's, who's, who's dealing with traps? Yeah, that's the other thing. Look, if something happens, it's not on you. Okay? I... And if you want, once I've checked it over, you can be the one to grab it. I just want to look at it first. Yeah. And I'm going to be close to hand, just sort of, just in case. I don't know what I'm going to do, but <laughs> she's if she's checking for traps, I'm like, I'm not going to get in the way, but I'm just going to watch. And I'll hang your stuff if you need me to. That's cool. Um... Somebody watch the rest of the room, too. Yeah. Everybody want to like arrange and watch our back for us? Yeah, okay. So let's let's position everybody. Um so let me just go back to face plate. So Alice say is Oop. That's way, Oop. way too big. Alice is very large. <laughs> She's tall. I didn't know that she was that tall. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, one. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, she's there. Mhm. Mm and I'm gonna be to the right. Oh no. So. Ah, fucking. Oop. There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it's going to be like why the problem either, is. Yeah. either there or there, whichever, whichever, whichever of yeah, those you're, squares you're would be. She, she, she'd want, she want you to be a little further back. That was my thought. Yeah. Okay. Whichever one of those yeah. would put me close, but out of the way. Okay. For Seth. Uh, with what's there right now, he'd probably be other side of LSA, like opposite Darwin. So sort of there-ish? Yeah. Okay. Hazel? Uh, best guess about there. Okay. Nye? Um, here, what, like, dividing attention between what they're doing and the rest of the room. Remy? We now still can't hear you. We cannot hear you. <laughs> Unplug, plug back in. Yeah. <laughs> There's map blips. Oh, sorry, blip again? Okay, got it. There it is. I got it, I got it. Okay, so more like about there. Okay, good. Okay. Alice A has checked for traps. After a while, going. If there is a trap here, it's not mechanical, and I'm not seeing any any glyphs in particular. I mean, it could be under the plinth, but moving the plinth is not going to be easy. So it's as safe as it can be. But if you're screaming pain when you see magic. Hey Remy, are you one of those paladins? Yes. Are you one of those paladins that can see evil, or sense evil, yes. or something? Yes, I am. You want to try it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. And judging from Nye's reaction, I'm not about to try it myself because mine's just magic. <laughs> All right, then Remy will step up to Alice. And I don't need to roll anything. Yeah, you actually probably want to stay where you are because if if there is a thing, it's probably not going to be directly on the... And so if Remy does that and does a circuit sort of in that direction, as she starts moving towards the bones, I mean, there, there, is, there is this low-level evil permeating the whole place anyway. But as she starts getting closer to the bones, it's 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 screaming undead, I and mean, it it reeks of undead. But it's not moving. No, and it looks to be entirely in pieces, but it still reeks of undead. Okay, that's okay. She's gonna. Step back. Okay. Yes. Point. Try not to make too much noise in your armor. I think that pile of bones might get up if we do something or if it smells us. I don't know, but it, I don't you think it's entirely it dead. Firm. What? In which case, there's got to be something else that triggers it. Maybe it's something yeah. that wakes up for ritual, or maybe it's something that doesn't want that pendant, because the pendant is there, it's just sitting there. Or maybe it's something that just doesn't want that pendant taken. We won't know until we try. Well, uh, Nye, this is your deal. Um, right, I see two ways to do this. Actually, I see kind of three ways to do this. One, we pick it up and run like hell. Two, we know that the bones are going to do something, so well, I, I mean, sort of like gets in battle position around the bones, and I scoop the thing up. Three, we sort of set up defensive positions here. I mean, there are worse things to fight than a 
We've already. Undead. I liked your second idea because we can't just run because there are going to be people coming back in here, and we broke the illusion on those stairs. Yep, that's also a good point. Yep, we have to but clear it out. And between if we, me if... and Hazel, Hazel, you can smite undead or something like that. Hi, Wait, I get. I have. Saying... I have. A, I have a minute's worth of part of this. This whole wingy deal is yeah. that. Well, when... and I have to say it was in the middle of speaking. So continue. I'm sorry. Well, what I was gonna. Well, two things I was gonna say. First, the thing about the illusion on the stairs. Second of all, if we arrange ourselves in battle formation around it, we've got it pinned to a wall. Also a good so point. we probably don't want to spread out here where we don't have any place to fall back and it has the room. Yep. Third of all, it's not just you and Hazel over there who can smite divine. Part of my wing thing is that I can also get some divine force behind my hits when they're up. And, you know, my rapier here does it does at least a little bit. That's not great against bones, but it's something. I figure the, the, the right... And I can make a big boom. Depend, I mean, it's, this thing looks pretty big. I don't know what that's going to do, but either way, we can't leave it. We can't just run. Right. And so, we can't just <clears throat> not take this thing. Right. So I say all five, the five of us get in some sort of a position around it. Uh, <laughs> Nye, you've got range anyway. So, and it's, like I said, it's sort of, we're sort of the, your deal on this. He keeps, so, he keeps the healer with him. For now, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and because and, Hazel, you also have distance. So you can do, you have stuff that you can do as a, uh, from a distance. So that works too. Um, that way we're not, you know, I mean, yeah, you have your hammer and all, and if you need to, that's great. But yeah, let's keep you at a distance yeah, too. Sorry, I'm it looks... that hammer is the last resort. It I'm sticking looks... point. It looks you... like Froseth wants to say something. Oh, I'm so sorry, before... Froseth. Before we do anything, should we maybe walk the room to make sure there's nothing else that might get up at the same time? Good this point. Is a good well point. made. Yes, thank you. I didn't even think of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and just walk, do exactly that, and walk around the room. We'll start. What do, we, do we want to just follow along the wall, or do we want to just go up and down? Um, to make things a little bit easier for you guys, however you do it, the room is otherwise clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the are in the uh, southeast corner. Yes. Bottom right. Yeah, let me... Draw a thing for you. That's where the stairs are. All right. So we have our plan of attack. Let's do the thing. Um, let me think. I will start up close with the option to fall back quickly. Um, only because, like you've said, I have a lot of open. I have some openers, things I can do at the start. Um, okay, so. let's let's let the shot blocker decide where her position is first. Good point. The people Remy. who are going to be staying close up should decide, and if there's a problem with where they are, then you can say then, instead of making people work around you. You've got a bit more flexibility. Mm -hmm. You know, good. Uh, Okey doke. Great. Still kind of knew it. Some of this, sorry. <laughs> Thank no, you. That, that's why I'm saying, dude. So, what, there? Yes. Okay. Between it uh, and everybody else. I'm gonna move um, to this side here. Oh. I would uh, stay between it and the stairs, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also because when, uh, when we come out from this little room area and I start shooting at it... Oh, so yeah, I'll you want to have a clear there. shot. Yes, please. So you're next to Alice, then? Yeah. I've already committed friendly fire once. Okay. Not as badly as I did. Darvin! <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. 
All right, I'm not going to get. I'll I'll start uh, in the corner between uh, uh, Remy and Froseth. Not, I don't want to get between it and the wall. So yeah, right there. It was either going to be that or up from from Remy because mm -mm. you're you've got more of a chance of of wall slamming it with thunder wave without getting hit by uh, without without potentially hitting Froseth and Remy because that's a ten foot cube coming out from you mm. and oh, you're coming into there. Yeah, so let me go ahead and go north of Remy then. Yeah, because that way you can shove out in that direction. Mm-hmm. Just after you do that, step aside. Yeah, that was the plan. That was yeah, the plan. Or backwards to, to join mm -hmm. in more with the ranged. And mm -hmm. that still gives that you some wiggle room to stab, to, to come back mm -hmm. in and stab when necessary. That was the plan, yeah. That was the plan. Thank you for, her. Thank you for the assist on that. Okay. okay. And Nye <clears throat> is sort of going up there so that he can step back out and be in line of sight with it. And right. Hazel should probably stay where she is, because yep. that way she I would can ask, see everybody. We both should probably... Well, I don't know. Well, no, you, to, you need to start there, because that's where you're grabbing the pendant from. Okay. But immediately after I grab it, I'm going to go south well, and west. Well, that entirely depends on initiative rolls. Yep. Doesn't it? So, yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm just having this image of Nai running up, grabbing the thing on the run, and they keep going. No, because it's too close to a wall anyway, yeah. so no. Yeah. Okay, so... Ready when you are! Yoink! I'd like you all to roll initiative as the pile of bones begins to shift and stand up. Five. Eleven. Seven. Sixteen. <laughs> uh. Oh! Nat twenty! Nat twenty! Nice! Well, it would be. I guess you don't have to roll the, uh, you don't have to roll the, the advantage after all. It didn't. I, I have it no. set to do, I had it yeah, set. Yeah, because it initiative didn't. doesn't normally. I don't think it I don't think it knows about that particular oh. dagger because I think that I think I got that as a homebrew. Okay. There, there are class abilities that give initiative. Yeah, clearly they didn't think it well, was important. To either way, to... <laughs> I can't get much better than that. <laughs> Hang on. Um... First, I make note of initiative order. Then I explain to you what you are actually looking at. Oh boy. So that's... Oh, and I need to roll for this creature. Which actually means I need to go up for the... Load, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's... Darvin... Okay, good. Nothing. Good. All right. Oh, will you for fuck's sake load? <sighs> Thank you. Uh, so that's 19. Okay, so that's fine. Alice, um, Froseth, Hazel, Remy, Nye. Okay. This thing stands up, and it is quite literally huge. Let me find a uh, significant uh, size. Why are undead always so hard to find? <laughs> What is it? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> abomina. That's best I can do. <laughs> wow. It is, and it is classed as oh, no. huge. There's not much in the way of flesh about it, but it 
there is this sort of darkish material. It's not quite the black sludge, but it's definitely a necrotic kind of thing serving a bit as flesh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> it is carrying a scythe. Of course it I is. I remember this thing. Ethan should remember this thing. <laughs> I'd kind of been hoping you'd go for the Umber Hulk first, but... <laughs> okay! Maximum fuck no! Yep, pretty much. Okay, Darvin! <sighs> anyway, uh... Oh fuck, I forgot I did that. Oh no. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. I'm going to open with the obvious. Thunderwave. Uh, let me... And that's a con uh, save or a deck save? That's a con. Con. I had kind of been hoping it wasn't, but Make... it's already got a con of plus five. For fuck's sake, it didn't need it to roll that three, too. <laughs> roll damage. How many twenties is that already today? Hey, at, at least, least it was a three D. Save, but not on it boffing somebody. Right. Oops. Damn it! Hang on, I keep mistyping. Three, D, eight. So half of nineteen. We're rounding down, so that's half of eighteen. That's nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, just need <clears throat> to check on something here. D twelve plus sixty-five. And I will, when I have the chance, move. Away. Yeah. Okay, just give me a second. That's done. That's mm -hmm. fine. Okay, so boom happens. This thing does not shift. This thing just sort of looks at Darwin. Where is Darwin moving? Uh. <laughs> there. Sorry. Show me again. No, uh, it's right next uh, near Hazel, but not right next to Hazel. Uh. That, yeah, that's it, right there. <sighs> You're moving out of its immediate uh, range, uh -oh. aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That would mean attack of opportunity. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are so fucking lucky. <laughs> it whiffed? It, it, def it hugely whiffed. I don't only roll nat 20s on this thing. You realize that. <laughs> Speaking of which, it is its turn. That was, that was, boom, duck, run! <laughs> oh, modus action. Bonus uh, action. Sorry, before I forget. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to uh, give an inspiration die to Remy. Uh, and... Uh, uh, and it's going to be, um, shoot, I, I can't use any of the ones I had prepped because they were all for the Ember Hulk. Damn it. <laughs> um, um, Remy, uh, Remy, uh, colon Troy Therian, um, you <laughs> should use Troy Therian. <laughs> yes. Col please call it Troy Therian to, 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 to. Damn it, I'm losing the words. <laughs> uh, fuck, I got nothing. <sighs> to kick its ass and hopefully it doesn't kick ours. I have no idea. Everything I had was for the Umbra Hulk. Damn it. <laughs> you need like to be better Umbra. prepared, Bardman. <laughs> yeah. I, I should not have ended the couplet with Tritherian. <laughs> you can't really rhyme that. It is the behemoth's turn. 
you do have a one d eight uh uh inspiration die by the way. <laughs> The strike on Remy lands maybe an inch from her shoulder. Like, you can actually hear some of the enamel scrape. It came that close. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Just as well, however. Uh, so hang on, that's... Eleven, fourteen, twenty-two. The next one swings at Alice, which opens a fairly nasty gash down one shoulder. Now it is Alice's turn, and Alice. <laughs> Responds to that. <laughs> Deep breath. Wings. Ice. And screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Wings, ice, and rage. Wow. Yeah, and it's 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 kind of, it's kind of like for for Hazel and a bit for Remy, although she didn't have quite the same level of um religious training it's like if if Paylor and and Oriel had a child and that was her <laughs> <laughs> going super second or something the 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 yeah Remy Froseth and Ali say now all have uh two uh temporary hit points extra because they're within the uh they're within the sphere of uh her influence the the, the 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 shadows of the room fall away as the wings just illuminate the surrounding area. She gets up right in its face. And God, you just punched the back of the fuck button. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, well, yes, it did. So that's strength plus three to hit is yes. the biggest fuck you ever. Ice damage. Radiant. <laughs> um, okay, so let me think. So that's, that's another twelve. Wait, I'm not gonna, now that everything's all well lit, I'm not going to have to do what I was going to do. <laughs> um, so that's twelve, eighteen, twelve. Yeah, the the first hit just opens this crack just by one of its eyes and again still shrieking in rage Ooh, <laughs> this thing is not in going to be in very good shape after this so that was just, that was 12. how big of a dent is in its head now wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to wait. figure i'm trying to figure that out there's a lot of maths yeah, wait, involved wait <laughs> This is part of the reason 18, I want to play Barbarian next campaign. 22, so that's 41, that and I'd kind of like to go back to something simple. You think this is simple? Yeah. This <laughs> quadratic levels of math given the type of Barbarian. For a given value of simple, let's put it that way. So that's 8, 12. Actually, no, that's that. Twenty-one. That last hit was thirty-seven points of damage. <laughs> uh, so that's. Oh my 
god. Basically, she has Alice A gets up directly in its face and takes two massive wallops. You can see that it's it's as much the radiant damage as anything else that's doing it. The 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 the, the, the radiant light is as, as much cracking the rest of it um, as as anything else. But it's it's still looking. Already, it's looking in some significant pain. And how much of its face is missing? It's, it's certainly lost a couple of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Froseth. They went. The teeth went flying. Okay. Um. I don't really have. Well. What it amuses me is I can't see any of this, so I'm just hearing it. I'm just going to try attack. And actually remember my extra attack that I didn't last section. Yeah. <laughs> 16. First one. Ooh, just missed. You're, okay. you're basically swinging at a leg and just... Ah! As it, it partially probably because it staggered back a little bit at an ill-conceived moment, as 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 a very large axe is making a dent in its face. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely not going to hit. Nope. Uh, spend a key point for a flurry of blows. Nope. Nope. That hits. <laughs> Roll damage. <laughs> Yeah! Nine. <laughs> At least it's not resistant to uh, to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you hear, you hear, no, it, it's, it, it's, it, that's not bad damage. You, you see part of, you, well, from, from, from Darwin's position, he can't see much, but uh, Remy can see a, a fairly good dent form in the, uh, in, in the thing's, Sort of just below the knee, all things considered. Given that's huge. So, yep. Okay. Um, Hazel! Okay! This thing is making me think shade all over again. I'm pointing the spear at it and screaming... Burn! And firing a guiding bolt. Okay, so that's... Range spell attack. Yep. That. What level first? Oh, uh, that's at... Sorry, that I was good, as I should have said, at second level. Yeah, that, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm reminding you, because I'm going to need you guys to declare what level when you declare the spell. Mm -hmm. Very much thank you for the reminder. I I was going to say, and then just left. Okay. You, you, you said you were sorry. That's enough. Let's go. All right. Let's roll this. Stop being a butt, computer. That is a 17. Roll damage. And All right, that's that's five d six if you're casting it at second level. Yep. That is 18 radiant damage. And anyone who hits it next gets advantage. Laser. That that has that has done some really significant uh damage to sort of I mean, she's she's hit it in the upper torso, but there's enough light coursing through it to uh 
effectively be a beacon to uh, anybody who's hitting it next. Speaking of, Remy! Bonus action, actually. Oh, bonus action. Quite right. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> bonus action. Spiritual weapon. In the shape of? In the shape of a glaive, like, like the governor we met earlier. Favorite <laughs> weapon. So this is just great honking <laughs> bladed thing pops into being. Where are you putting it? Uh, hang on. It, I've gotten weird bits of processing lag with this, so I've, I'm putting it right you there. You can't because that's in the creature. Ah, can I put it here then? Yes, you can put it next, next. to Remy. Yes. So but we'll, we'll say that is the... Square which it occupies. Okay, roll attack for the spiritual weapon. That's roll damage. Uh, should I roll again because of the advantage, or? Advantage. If you want to, well, yes. I mean, yeah. If you want to, take yes. It. it might be 20, take it. Yeah, go for it. I think what he's asking is more, does the advantage apply to Hazel's attacks, or does it only apply to the next person? Mm. That ah. is. Yeah, the 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 advantage is gone, but roll damage. All right. Just. Just double checking. You did not mention what level you were casting it at, so it's going uh, to be at the lowest possible level. Yeah, yeah, that was damn it again. That's supposed I was going to cast it at base at its base level anyway. Yeah, at the at, at I'm I'm setting the rule now. If you do mm -hmm. not declare, you are ca officially casting it at lowest possible level. Not a big deal now, but we'll screw you later. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, DM. Okay. That is four. Mm. Bip. I'll ask. I'll ask about that later. Remy. It is the uh, inspiration the, die get added you immediately can, with the roll you or can, after. You, you can use... You can... Basically, if you roll and it's too low, then you can add it. Okay. It lasts for it lost for a minute, so that's like ten rounds. So any time you make a roll anything but damage. Okay, okay. As long as you declare that you're gonna use it before I tell you whether you succeed or fail. Okay, Remy is going to swing at it with Divine Smite at second level. 19. Oh. Roll damage. Okay, how many things am I rolling here? 2d8, 3d8, 4d8. What type of damage is that? The smite is radiant. Yes. It. How do you want to do this? Yes. <laughs> there was so much radiant damage on the field at that point that you just absolutely <laughs> obliterated it. How tall yeah. is it? Uh, huge is fifteen by fifteen. So. Fifteen up. Okay, so she uh. Probably cleaves through the kneecap and then gets up into the skull as it's starting to teeter <laughs> downwards and towards her. 
and they're probably yeah. Remy, Remy, Remy times the whole thing perfectly. She shears through the knee. You probably got Alice giving a little bit of help, seeing what she wants to do, but just you know, four whap into the back of the head with the axe. More like a golf swing than actually trying to do damage. And Remy just sort of waits until it's just in the right spot and underhand swing cleaves the skull clean in two. Well then. And the only person who is wounded is a badly bleeding Alice, and she doesn't really seem to notice. And I'm I'm probably like that's how the alcove go Elder Spot Oh <laughs> it burned. Damn right it did. And <laughs> she sort of lands. That was almost right. a waste. Yeah, you're fine. If she says with this massive couch in one shoulder. Uh, Hazel, fix. Please. Uh, oh, right, that. Yes, that. Uh. I am walking over. And casting. God damn it. And casting Cure Wounds at third level. Okay, go ahead and roll. And while Hazel's doing that, I'm going to turn to Nye. Hey, Nye, are you hearing anything? I sense a little bit of impressed. Just a little bit. Yeah, there's a certain amount of... Now, you see? We said this was going to be interesting. <laughs> Froseth, on the other hand, is getting... You're going oh, to damn. pay Dude! for that. You just got max on that. Oh, almost. Pretty close. Yeah, and it's it's it, it's enough to fully heal the the wound in <laughs> Alice's shoulder, but no. Froseth is hearing you are going to pay for that. And the voice is much less that blonde woman sarcastic sweet. There's that growl in it now. And it's such a much a bigger, godlier voice right now. You will pay, and she will pay. And just about everyone else involved with you. <sighs> uh, see, this is why I tell healers to stay at the back. Thanks for that. Yeah, uh, we, uh, pissed off Tiamat with that. Uh, she pretty much said she's gonna kill all of us here, or we're gonna pay for that, everyone I know is gonna pay for that. And, yeah. But I am I, Studio ghibli -ing. I mean, that was kind of to be expected. So, huh? Tiamat's angry that we took the pendant that the fairy queen wants. Not the pendant. It's probably the blasphemy thing that we just shot to death. Yeah, but, but the blasphemy stuff. thing was protecting the... I think Remy's right. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Remy. Also, okay, I, I kind of have a question now. Hmm. Yes, eh? pissed off with you guys, but I'm kind of assuming this means me. Oh, just yeah. so I know. Very likely. Do I do I do I now have dragon goddess pissed at me? Very likely. Yeah. Probably. Um, yeah. Cause not for nothing, that was yeah. kinda I was gonna ask a uh, that was, We that, didn't later. necessarily want to dump everything at once. 
Yeah, he kind explained, of on a quest explained, he explained, from the gods. I yeah, he explained. explained he expl oh, you you wanted to yeah, hold her on that. Yeah, but okay, yeah, in all yeah. fairness, okay. though, it was it was kind of a jumble, and you know how he talks, where everything he either makes sound way scarier or way less scary than it's supposed to, and so you kind of got to take it with a grain of salt. And I didn't know that this pendant thing was tied in with, and I guess you guys didn't that, know that, either. That is the quest. That is the yeah. Part. <clears throat> yeah, Remy. Yeah. But on the other hand, yeah, we... we find it in an old temple devoted to Tiamat, so I guess that's not that much a surprise, but that just means that none of us actually knew that by helping you guys get that thing, I am now in On the bad... On an evil god's shit list. Yeah. That's a minor <laughs> issue, yes. Sorry about that! I mean, to be fair, if we deal with everything that I, that I, thought I, I mentioned, there's no... I mean, that's gonna get resolved, so... The other grabs question. you by the by the shirt collar. Yoink. Er. You are gambling my life on if. Do you want to not sound quite so casual? Fling. <laughs> Point. Sorry. <sighs> when? When is what I meant to say. When? 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 Wow! When did you, you miss the fucking world. point? I'm gonna stop. Please. That would be wise. That's a first for me. <laughs> so, okay. This is a help for me, so that's that's one thing. I'm kind of starting to wonder if, like, being on a god shit list is kind of a high price to pay for that. Oh boy. Um Yeah, okay. Uh I'm gonna need to process that. We should take a breather. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly on the other hand, there's a powerful being who might be happy with you for helping me with this. Is she a god? <laughs> I don't know enough theology to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But on the other hand, given... I've seen that sword that you wave around. That's... That's fey shit. So, yeah, that other being might be happy with me, but capricious enough that... not to be trusted. <laughs> So there's a maybe and a definitely, and the definitely wants to eat me. I won't make the joke. I'm a little bit too off to make mm -hmm. the joke right now. Um, for what it's worth. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, I weren't entirely expecting it either. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I did not real. I have. <laughs> we didn't know this was a temple of Tiamat, or that to begin with. Well, Did you ask? Wanted. No. No. <laughs> we didn't. Well, keep in mind for the next time that if you're going into a temple, it's probably going to be to a god. Usually finding out which god will prepare you for what's going to happen next. And that's... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's going to have... That's going to change what is in it and what traps we might have to deal with. And hey, can just we maybe have this conversation not in the temple of the god that God we've just pissed off? Yep. Yeah. And I know we yeah. have to go back in, but there's some shit that we're going to have to discuss just... about what happens next, and I don't want to do it in here. Yeah. Let's. Can we? Uh, yeah. Can we make it back to where we camped? 20 minutes mm -hmm. is a bit of a walk. I think... Let's, can we at least get outside? Yeah, I, I was. that's why I was going to suggest outside, but I was also thinking that... I mean, obviously, Dragon Man can hear her, and mm -hmm. I want to know about that, but I don't want to know about that in here. So yeah. we wait until he's pretty sure that 
if he's not hearing her, then she's not hearing us or something. He seems to know more about this. And then we talk. Okay. And we can probably all use a, at least a bit of a rest, if not... Well, I won't be more. able to do this again today. Yeah. That was... Well, see, that was part of the reason why I was thinking, do we want to go farther out of here than that? Set up camp, rest, recuperate. Well, by this Possibly? point, it's, it, by this point, it's uh, only a little after lunchtime, although... It, oh, given given a couple of a couple of you, Ali say probably in particular, let's at least stop for lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, um, that was my yeah. thought. So let's go. Everybody out. And now we can tell the archaeologist that this is all cleared out. This dude back upside the head. Talk outside. <laughs> when you get. Back outside. I'll just put the old one back because it was was supposed to be closer anyway. Mm. Dude, we cleared out a thing, and we've opened up a new room for them. That's fine, but you know what we didn't do? We haven't cleared out. Yet. Actually, cleared out the yeah. Ember Hulk. So don't say we can tell them we've cleared it out when we haven't yet. No. I meant that spot. Not the whole thing. Yeah, they didn't even know that spot was there. Yeah, so I'm... Um, so, it, it, it's good that we went in there and dealt with it, because, well, if that had woken up when someone else had gone down there... Hey, Nye. Yes? Uh, have you tried looking at thing that... looking at the pendant? Though now that we're outside... Like looking at it the way you do. It's because it, it's after it, what after what happened when we were down there. I'm a little bit cautious, but sure, let me give it a shot. It screams of magic. It's probably uh, conjuration magic. Uh, conjuration and lots of it. Oh, okay. So whatever that is, that's really powerful. Then it's good it's no longer in there. I mean, yes, I know we're bringing it back in temporarily, but you know what I mean. All right. <sighs> so, Alice, you wanted to ask about the... thing? I know, the... I know you're a chromatic... You're, I know you're a metallic, and Tiamat's on the chromatic end, and she's evil and you're not. So why can you hear her? I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> so, essentially, like, it's been explained to you about, like, our whole starting and whatnot with the... The Star Coast bullshit, yeah. Star Coast bullshit, yes. <laughs> During the process of that... Hearing Frost say bullshit is just... I'm over here just... <laughs> Yeah, Alice is not bothering to stay flat. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> star goes bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, star, bullshit. Yes, star, star goes bullshit. So, in the the process of my own training, attuning to the various elements, as I attuned to them, they showed me visions of. Well, at the time, I thought it was just an evil blonde woman was fucking with shit. Eventually, it came to light that it was Tiamat. So she's got an interest she, in you. She's got an interest in me, and she saw me during one of those. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. But, okay, so your training with the elements went to the place where there is oh oh yeah okay um yeah there is for for Froseth you can just about tell there's a certain amount of familiarity from Alice about that it's not I thought monks just punch stuff it's oh it's sort of an oh you're one of those 
Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. <sighs> you... Plus, we've kind of been on Tiamat's shit list since the Star Coast thing, so... You, um... You seem pretty nonplussed. No, I'm plenty plus. I'm... <laughs> Look, the Barbarian tribe in the north, yeah, but we used to come across, like, wandering monks from oh. var various spots. And oh. The... Most of them just attuned and moved the elements, like, 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 like first with here can, but some of them, not many. It's, it's it's a rare attunement level that one, and you got a lot of people doing pilgrimages and things to try to reach that level. Actually, communed with them to the point of having part of them with the element elsewhere in the world. Uh, Only on the material plane, mind you. It doesn't work beyond that. But, you know, they, they used to they used to come by, share the fire. Uh, they, they, they learned a little bit from us. We learned a little bit from them. It was kind of a fair. thing. Fair, fair. Um, no, uh, I don't know if I, I don't, don't know if I really stressed that point, but um, you got the part when I was explaining everything where when we were at Star Coast, Tiamat was there. I got it, but keep in mind that when you tell stories, my dude, you focus on yeah. the the wa arm waving and the and you, you, yeah. you when you were trying to go from point A to point B, there's a whole lot of flailing of yeah. of like C through Z mm -hmm. for the rest of it, and then the, uh, once yeah. you've weaved all the way around the rest of it, you finally get to B, and by that point, you're sort of half invested in what happened with A, because you've yeah. been too busy sidetracking about bunnies, which I don't really think I needed to know in the face of Tiamat now wants my head. My apologies. Um, well, you, told just... it, you told it like a bard. You shouldn't apologize for telling it like a bard. Just it might have been nice if when we walked into Temple of Tiamat, somebody had put together that if that thing is in there, it probably belongs to her and it's going to piss her off. Even more than she's already pissed off with you. So anybody new is going to be tied right into it. I am an idiot and honestly didn't make that connection. My problem is I don't know what I'm gonna do now, cause uh, this, I I made an off. I asked if you wanted to come with us earlier. I was well, I, and, well, and and we're and gonna that... be distracting her further in the future, ideally. She's a god. They can multitask. I wanted to be here. But if I'm here, and she comes after me, anyone else in my blast radius? Well, to be fair, Froseth, she said we would pay, and everyone you know will pay. She's, well, actually, what Tiamat said to... Uh, clarify for first Seth. Uh, you specific she and there's a an idea that she meant Alice a as a separate entity from you so but yeah Darwin doesn't know that so he's just yeah I'm just going by what I got which is if that was wrong go for it yeah no uh she was pretty specific about Alice is in the sites now. Well, yes, but I mean anyone that Alice knows. Darvin? What? Tiamat. God. Right. Blast radius. Besides, yeah. like, let's say that... Let's say just for a second <sighs> that Tiamat was only after Furseth. Would you let it happen? No. No. 
any team worth having would get in the way and get hurt yeah. or worse. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was do. just trying to find some kind of a silver lining here. That's all. It's, you've gone. Okay. You, you're, you're, you're coming out of focus there, Ethan. Sorry. I was grabbing my water bottle, so it lost. Uh, I, I appreciate it, but I got to be realistic because this is my life and other people's lives we're talking about here. Mm hmm. I mean, I knew that, you know, Hazel had offered, made that offer. And I mean, I'm assuming we all <clears throat> follow that. And that was part of the reason why I was so insistent on laying everything, as much of everything out that we've gone through as I could. So that way, if that way, to give you as much information as I could. Guys, I guys, I'm not blaming you here. I just need to figure out what I do. I can't just mm. tag along after you guys. As much as, as much as I appreciate it, that okay. wasn't supposed to be in my life. Yeah, no, definitely no. But I now also have to rethink oh. what my life is going to be, because I'm not going to be safe on my own, I'm not going to be safe with you guys, and I'm not going to be safe with anybody else. Hmm. Oh boy, um... I need... I'm going to let you guys, like, talk amongst yourselves. I... I mean, I've been alone pretty much for a while, and I need to get my head around this. So I'm going to go over there. And I'm yeah. gonna let you guys sort this out because clearly you guys are all thinking different kinds of things about this, and I need to reorganize my entire view of what the future looks like. So, uh, and she, she, she's, she in the, she's been in the process of putting together a monster sandwich. I'll be over there. <laughs> and walks off Just with the her. Scooby Stack sandwich. Like Dagwood, yeah. It's well, like it's 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 it's, it's like Scooby Doo. Not not it's it's actually more long than wide. Oh, basically okay. taken this, you know, long but thick loaf of bread and just stuffed a terrible lot of, you know, meat and cheese and bits in it, and has now wandered off to sit on a rock away from you guys, and gnom right. on her sandwich. So, so the whoops. option I had. Floating around in my head were either Goldendale or explained it or, 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 or introducing her directly to the governor because governors and that. Um No, we don't know what Tiamat's gonna do. I mean if Tiamat, Tiamat could God Yes, anything. I know that, but if Tiamat could snap her fingers and smite us, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Not, not, not the point. The point is, is that they're unpredictable. And it's not so much snap your fingers and burn. It's could set up every single thing in your life to ruin you. Also, they, they don't go uh, also, simple. Also keep in mind what what she wants to do for a living. Think of the things they could send. A god yep. could send after her. So... I... Well, yeah, she wants to hunt things. She wants to be a hunter. Sue? So, she's probably going to be based out of... Here. here. So, yeah. So, my thought the is... city full of monster hunters. Right. I still think we should at least. I agree with Hazel that we should introduce the her. The graces of the governor, yeah. because well, five claws of Bahamut can probably do a bit better protecting someone than he can. Yep. Well, whatever the decision is, it's got to be presented to her as First. an option for her to take. Yep. We don't. We don't say th this is what's happening. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah. But it's an idea. 
Well, and sort of the best we got right now. What is Nye doing while all of this is going on, given the circumstances? Being very, very quiet, looking at this pendant, which I'm desperately trying to keep the bottom off of screen because this is not at all a pendant. Yeah, it really is and, just and keep... a string. Yeah, it's a. And it's. Keep... Sorry, go ahead. Hmm? And keeping half an eye on Alice, say, off on her own because, well. Oh, she's yeah. not that far off. She's maybe. I mean, if you guys are around the campfire there, she's sitting on that rock. Okay. Far enough away to not be listening beyond when Hazel starts, when Hazel and Yelly and Remy start yelling at each other. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Nye is just looking at. It's not so much a string as almost a, a choker, um, and just a plain uh, teardrop, what looks like a dark jade rather than emerald. I, uh, at the very least, I think, given what we're dealing with and the connections that it's given us, um, we could offer that as an option, um, that we could at least give her an introduction to them. Um, and um, I don't know who else, uh, I don't know what else we could do, we could even begin to do. I, I feel like we should, we owe her something. Very least. Well, we also, also, Darwin saw what she did to that thing's head. She actually did more damage than most of you. I mean, Combined, yeah. Well, no, I mean, because of the radiant from both Remy and Hazel, they did some really significant damage, but in total, that was something like 70 odd points of damage in one round. So, I mean, what Dar Darwin saw something that he's going to sing basically the yep. rest of his life. It's just, you know, teeth everywhere. And, yeah. So, if Most nothing else, you've got to imagine that Kreia Bendis is going to want to hear that. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, like, she's, even if we don't come back with the Umber Hulk, that one's in. I will. I will make sh make that happen. I don't care. She's in. <laughs> that much is given. Well, to be to be fair, also uh, Alice a did take one of the one of the whole teeth that she managed to knock out because uh, you know, Remy went underneath, but did manage to leave some of the dentition intact. She she, she anyway. seems to do that. She takes teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so. So yeah, no, I just I feel like we 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 definitely owe her something. Um, I mean, at the very least, at the very least, what we do is when we go back uh, after getting the Ember Hulk and we bring the hide back, uh, we we let uh, we let them know, hey, you know, she she's not part of the situation. Yeah, we let him know that now she's part of this, but she's not coming with us, and we need to do something about that. Her life goal was the brass arrows, and it still is the brass arrows. Right. And if we've done this and caused difficulty for her, we need to do something to ameliorate it, something to make up for it, something. Okay. Something. We owe it to her. So, yep. so what do you guys? What do you all think? It's like I vote for that. I agree in spirit. In practice, I'm not sure how to pull it off. Just she'll she either roll with it or she won't. It. What do you mean? What do you mean pull it off? You mean actually telling them of the situation, or do you mean that? Well, how best to help her? Oh, oh, that's fair. That's fair. Well, and I'm not saying we're going like like Froseth said. Froseth, you were absolutely right. I'm not saying we're going to do this. I mean, frankly, I unless she says not to 
say anything unless LSA tells says specifically not to do this. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't regardless. But we're going to tell Alice, hey, this is something that we're going to say, and this is what we're going to do when we get back. Um, and offering that as... And basically let her have her input. Exactly. Thank you. Yes. Like, you know, and if she says, no, I don't want that, well, then okay. Well, let me um, figure something else out, and we'll do that then. Right. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Right. Yeah, Remy's just nod. <laughs> like, Remy, woman, not gonna Remy, woman of few words. Yeah. Yep. Uh, by, by this point, uh, Nye, who's been watching Alice, has uh, who's now got through like two thirds of her sandwich and is feeding chunks of it to Flitty, who's doing doing little tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, just, just. Uh, she, she's got one. She got one ankle uh, propped against her other knee, and you just got fairy dragon tap, 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 tap. dancing. Like <laughs> well, fairy dragon river dance, go. Uh, Alice looks amused despite herself. <laughs> so from here, we rest, we recuperate. Um, I'll maybe play a bit. And then we hopefully turn a number Hulk inside out. Yep, I'm gonna. What I'm what, the one thing I, I uh, out of character. The one thing I wanted to do while we were. I'm assuming this is going to be the equivalent of a short rest. Is I wanted to do the uh, my uh, bard ability. The where you uh, was it the pull it up. Isn't that the one that lets you heal more during is a that short what that rest? Was? Yes. Is that all it does? Is that all? It, okay, never mind then. I won't bother then. I was thinking it was something else, and I was sure, going to. I thought we were to... doing a long rest. No. Mm -mm. Ra long rest is like going to sleep for the night. Yeah, that would have put us at like evening, and I don't want to fight a number hog in the dark. <laughs> Even though we probably will wind up doing so anyway. I wasn't going to point it out, but yeah. <laughs> I'm also looking at this thing, and I kind of mutter under my breath, "Do you want this now, or do you want me having to take it back and?" See, I did. I was figuring we wait until tomorrow and then take on the. What? Why? Why fight it when we're we when we've already had to? Well, well, well. Hazel is holding forth. Um. Nye hears. You probably don't want to bring it back in there. Stay out tonight. Have yourself a little walk after trance. We'll speak then. Yeah, Alice can only do her wings thing once a day, and I think it's a bad idea for this to go back inside that temple. Well, that answers that question. So yeah, I don't think we're going back in there until tomorrow. Do we have enough supplies to last that long? Yes. Okay. Well, you st I mean, Hazel still has her, her bread jerky and... Mm -hmm. I still have the font of food and the water what's it and we still have the canister full of the stuff that hits fits more water than it should we brought right. so much stuff okay we could be okay here for a week if we had to okay 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 i mean that was i was i was the one that first floated the idea of camping for the night anyway so yes, let's go ahead and worst, do that. Worst come to worst, I can hunt around and try to scrounge something, but <laughs> we're I'm good. More afraid of, I'm more kind of cautious of getting scrounged. Besides, That's I need practice fair. with the spear. Mm, hopefully that goes. Oh, all, 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 all of a sudden, the the the, the, the mental image of Hazel sparring with Alice a comes to mind. And Darwin just underrated weapons. Yeah. And Darwin kind of goes a little quiet because he's had getting flashbacks of the Froseth's Nora sparring, <laughs> and he's just sort of smiling, but kind of just not really saying much at this point. Just remembering that, just mm, 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 yeah. So yeah, okay, we'll camp here for the night. 
I'm assuming Alice says that this is an okay spot to do so. Oh, I don't think she would have. Uh, she, she wouldn't have let you sit here if it was going to be a bad thing. Although she does say, "Hey guys, you come here and have a look at this." Sure. Be like points across the desert. It's a it's a long way to look, and elven eyes are better with this. But uh, even the humans can just about see this. About a half a dozen of the cutest little cat, wild cats you've ever seen. <gasps> you do not want to get anywhere near those. What are those? Of course we don't. Those are sand cats. They burrow, and then they come up from from beneath you. They devour. They're like oh. they're like little furry piranhas, and if you get oh, wow. close, and if you get close enough to them, they look too cute to hit. What? Oh wow, that is amazing. That, that's, that's kind. Different. That's kind of like they're kind of like displacer beasts that way, except instead of like seeing them in three different places, they just look too cute to hit. Wow, uh, that's amazing. Great. That's that's great. Does everything Run! around here come Run! up Run! from underneath here. to you? It the, seems to be a running theme. The, cac the cacti don't. Fair point. Ooh. But it's the only... Does everything in this desert want to kill people? Well, yeah, that's why there's so many hunters here. Yep, action everywhere wants good point. to kill people. How they survive. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of water to let plants grow, so there's not a lot of herbivores. So everything... He here, became sort of turned into what it is in order to kill something else here. What you really want to avoid is the scorpions. How big are these things? You remember that skeleton? Yeah? Like that. <clears throat> That's a lot of scorpion. Too much That's scorpion. Too many legs! Like too many too, legs! Too many types of poison. They've got like two. Oh, let's not start with the type like of snake. Poison. We're gonna That's have to go after, poison. except worse. Yeah, and they did, that, and one one of the poisons doesn't stop you healing. It's just one's a lot worse than the other. Uh, but yeah, of, I'm not looking. A lot of claw, a lot of stabby, stabby, stabby mm. with the stinger, and that's poisonous. Um, so what we decide, what we thought was, we'd go ahead and wait and uh, go after the Umber Hulk tomorrow. Works for me. I'd rather have uh, a little extra smush Oof. anyway. Yeah. If if it's my... necessary, I don't always break it out. But when it's undead, going straight for. Quick question before, because I can see you have something else to say. But quick question before: Does anybody have chocolate? Uh, actually, hey, Haz Hazel. Does actually have some bits and pieces of that in bag. Immediately offering. Thanks. That's where it went. And then just sits back down and munch. Okay. And I'm just oh. I'm just producing more chocolate. Okay, okay, okay. If you don't put it back in, it's gonna melt in the sun. <laughs> then it goes back in. Thank you. I'll ask for more <laughs> if I want any. Sometimes this. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that out loud. Might not be taken in the humor it's intended. Probably not, no. Good catch. Anyway. I'm working on it. We, because of everything, um, we kind of came to a consensus. And if you say yay, uh, yay, then we will. If you say nay, then we won't. But when we go back, when we bring the, the Umber Hulk hide back, we were going to... Uh, tell them about, not about you, uh, but about the fact that because you went with us and we went to that temple and did what we did, uh, that you're now on TMS. The same shit list. Yeah. To let them know, to give them a heads up, to see if there were anything that could be done to help uh, in some fashion. Question. Because, hmm. Them who? The governor. Okay, that's a, that's a her, not a they, but okay. Sorry. No, no. This is 
this is a it's a pretty major secret. And uh, if someone's gonna get in trouble for it, I may as well. Well, we we pulled her into this, we may as well tell her yep. this. The governors here not 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 just in not just back there, but Bellarate, the whole con- country we're in, dragons. The five that ousted the Elder Black? Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So and when then, you say just... when you say them, you mean this conclave that are still in contact with the Mm-hmm. They call themselves the Five Claws of Bahamut. So I figured if anybody should know, and if anybody could actually have the potential to help in some fashion. Well, I guess I know which type of dragon Governor Bendis is. When you when 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 you have that detail, you tend to figure out what's which ones are where pretty quickly just because of the names of stuff. And but, Gover- and Governor Aled is a silver, obviously, because the silver vault. Okay. But, again, all of this was based on your say-so. Yay or nay. If you said no, I don't want anybody knowing this or anybody else involved, we would honor that and figure something else out. But Well, honestly... Um... Now that you've told me, it's kind of only fair that they know that I know, and the rest of it kind of follows on from that. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know what... They could probably do more than you guys could, yourselves, but I don't know what they could do, so the only way I'm going to find out is if I hear it. If you guys... Mm -hmm. I've never met Governor Bendis. Um, It's only the, the... It's only those that have the kind of connections you guys apparently have that go to see directly. We filled out all the paperwork. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Whoa. We, we, we saw someone with the paperwork mountain. That was a lot of paperwork. Yeah, and sometimes even the ones that get through it are still too stupid to live. Uh, it's, not an, it's not a perfect system, but at least it's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, but, it's, um, but we're, we'll, we can talk yeah. about that on the trip back, because yeah. there's, there's enough to get done, um, yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> without talking this into the ground. One of the things I want to do, uh, points at Hazel, I'm going to show you how to use that spear properly. Thank you. So I've got, I've got some training, but I forgot most of it. My, all I can really do is run a lot with a lot of armor on. That's pretty much all they let me do. I can see why, but I can also see where that would hinder you. This is... You're, I've seen your temperament before. You're the kind of person that needs to see how serious it is and flail at it before you can really learn cuz when you feel safe you're you indulge more in that part of you but now you're starting to figure out how not safe it is so now is the time to be taught and i guess in an ideal world you would have been facing smaller dangers that would have still taught you but would let you learn a bit more gradually Crash course, darling. Come on. Hit. Shield. Spear. Falling. Yeah. So the the rest of the rest of the afternoon and evening is spent. Um, I mean, Alice basically grabs the uh, the 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 the, sh- the spear and shield off um, off Hazel and uh, demonstrates quite uh, quite effectively. Uh, how how it is done and does end up with actually um it's not an amphisbena and it's not any kind of particularly horrific 
uh, snake, but she comes back about two hours after she took Hazel off for training with probably a very awestruck looking Hazel and some kind of burrowing snake about five feet long hanging from the spear. These are edible. I'm going to show you how to cook them. Hey, that's... I have not eaten something like that yet. Let's give it a shot. It it comes out reasonably well, particularly when she raids uh, Hazel's and uh, and mm -hmm. and Fursa's packs for spices. So yeah, you wind up with a dinner of wild snake. <laughs> <laughs> and I I spend a good chunk of the evening trying to figure out how best to lyrically describe the uh, the fight with the big thing specifically. Uh, Alice's part in in the whole smashing and crashing and and Hazel and uh, Remy's bits as well. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing Shishka Snake, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's basically it was basically a Wrath of the Gods situation in there. Mm -hmm. It looked yep. like a horribly unbalanced fight, and it was because it feels kind of like the gods themselves got involved. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just, I, I, so I'm doing that. And at one point, you just kind of hear you just hear hear uh, hear Darwin just mutter to himself, "What the hell rhymes with behemoth?" Math, math, myth, math, behemoth, 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 behemoth. How about don't? <laughs> Try a different word. I just have on Darwin's shoulders. Think harder. <laughs> like full, like full on shoulder massage. You See don't. This? I'm like you don't do inspiration. That's my <laughs> job. Thanks, <laughs> but that doesn't do what you. What? Never mind. What else is everyone doing for the rest of the afternoon and evening? Just before we oh. wind up for the night. After just, all uh... that, I I still have you know evening prayers to do, but I also do a couple of laps. And just go through the whole like I'm just basically demonstrating what what Mount Paylor's people had me doing on a regular basis, just in a lot more gear. Con, lots of con on that one. Just zoom. I'm I'm kind of assuming at this stage it's like training, meditating, um, staring at yeah. the pendant. Yep. We will deal with the drop off and the rest of the uh, of, mm -hmm. of the ancient temple to Tiamat in two weeks' time. Enjoy Thanksgiving, Antheus. Yeah. Enjoy alchemy, Ethan, and we'll Thanks. see you in two weeks. <laughs>